Media or the practice of judging someone else. Many years ago, for me, Mrs. Indira Gandhi was a woman who implied a ruthless and an autocratic temperament. Although I still believe that these two traits were an integral part of her soul. However, after I read Catherine Frank's Indira Pradarshini Nehru, I looked at the soul with immense respect and regard. I mean, after reading that book, I simply fell in love with that soul. The soul of a woman who was born to rule, but just the way nothing in life comes for free, so whatever we achieve, there's always a price, a hefty price tag to it. However, today when I look through any photographs of Mrs. Indira Gandhi, I see a lioness or a tigress who paid a steep price for the power that she earned. Earned it through her mind, shrewdness, willpower and emotional stamina, which is extremely rare and uncommon. I have immense respect for her, although I do not support or appreciate some of her political course of actions. And I am not someone who understands politics, so uh, I don't support any political party. It's not, so, it's not my cup of tea. But I, I respect people. Some of them may correspond to certain po political parties. But I respect them for their traits, not for their political ideologies or their political backgrounds they come from. I respect them for the soul that they have. Uh, I have immense respect for her, although I do not support or appreciate some of her political course of action. However, history is history. Some things cannot be changed. This article may seem chaotic and scattered for some. However, whatever we write or express through our work is a reflection of our own soul. Hence, so is this article a reflection of my chaotic and scattered soul, which is extremely restless and shows the traits of a good-for-nothing vagabond. I only hope that you, 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 after viewing this video, you refer to as many people as you can. And if you have any feedbacks, you come back to me. And I also hope you come to me for a reading. God bless. This is Rohit Dua. Thank you. This is Rohit Dua. I'm a tarot card reader. I'm going to read out one of my articles. If you have any suggestions or feedbacks, then they are most welcome. Do refer this video to as many people as you can and ensure that you watch the complete entire video and also watch other my other videos. You only have to search them on the Google or any of the sites, YouTube or any of the video sites and I'm sure you'll be able to access my videos. Uh, when your will is all that you have so as to survive. This article, I, I published this article in April 2012 online. When your will is all that you have so as to survive. Long ago, someone had told me that this life is an eccentric gift. When that gift comes to us, we feel that the gift is made of clay. But when we know it does not belong to us, hence will not come to us, we realize that the same gift is far more precious than gold itself. It is a trait of the human psyche to hate or, underst or underestimate the importance of what we already have. We crave for those things which are difficult or impossible to achieve. Desires and fulfillment form one aspect of your life, something which feeds the soul and also your heart. However, survival is a basic necessity. Whether one's desires are met or no, we still make attempts to live. In tarot, there are some cards which reflect